Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. This is a video about Fort Jessup. We visited this fort as we were doing a Thanksgiving camping trip at North Lido Bend State Park. We had made a run into Manny, Louisiana to refuel, pick up some supplies, and actually had found Fort Jessup on Google and showed that it was really close to Manny. So we decided to go ahead and travel over about 10 minutes to check out this fort. Fort Jessup is a reminder of a young nation's growing pains and a relic of Louisiana's rich international heritage. When the Louisiana Purchase Treaty of 1803 failed to clearly define the western boundary of Louisiana, which was also the western border of the country at that time, the United States claimed eastern Texas and Spain claimed western Louisiana. The ensuing dispute gave rise to the neutral ground, an area where the laws of neither nation were enforced, soldiers and settlers were kept out, and rogues of various stripes ruled the region. After the territorial boundary was finally fixed at the Sabine River by the Florida Purchase Treaty of 1819, the United States built Fort Jessup in 1822. Lieutenant Colonel Zachary Taylor established and commanded the garrison, which was originally called Cantonment Jessup in honor of Taylor's good friend, Brigadier General Thomas Sidney Jessup. Taylor's troops managed to establish law and order in the neutral ground, and Fort Jessup remained an important military post for nearly 25 years. Soldiers at Fort Jessup performed many duties which opened the frontier to American settlers, such as building roads, surveying the frontier, clearing the Red River, and negotiating treaties. The garrison at Fort Jessup was also called on to control slave insurrections in Alexandria and to catch criminals trying to cross the border. The soldiers of Fort Jessup saw thousands of settlers move into the province of Texas and then watched Texas become independent of Mexico authority. In 1845, half of the United States Army traveled through the Fort Jessup area en route to war with Mexico. The fort was abandoned in 1846 when it was no longer needed as a border outpost. One kitchen is the only historic structure remaining from the large reservation that once spread across the frontier. The Reconstruction Officer's Quarters House does visitor information, interpretive exhibits, and restrooms. This building was reconstructed with assistance of historians from the Army Quartermaster General's Office and the National Trust of Historic Preservation in 1961, Fort Jessup was designated a National Historic Landmark by the United States Department of the Interior and, as such, joined a select group of properties which have been recognized for their importance in American history. A little more about this neutral strip which was created after the 1803 Louisiana Purchase from which arose a disagreement about the location of the border between the American and Spanish territories. In order to avoid a war, the two countries agreed that the land in contention would remain neutral and free of armed forces from either side. The region stretched from Sabine River to Arroyo Hondo and encompassed the land that now makes up the modern Sabine Parish, Louisiana. The neutral strip remained devoid of government and law enforcement until the Adams Honest Treaty of 1819 finally set the border at the Sabine River. Colonel, later General, Zachary Taylor, future President of the United States, established Cantonment Jessup 
1822, after Fort Selden, a temporary headquarters for General Edmund Pendleton Gaines, was too far from the conflict zone of the Sabine River. Taylor quickly subdued the formal neutral strip, gaining experience and popularity. The surgeon at the containment recorded meteorological observations. His forces, known as the Army of Observation, remained in the fort and monitored the Texas Territory as it passed from Spanish to Mexican control and finally broke away as an independent republic. In 1845, General Taylor commanded the U.S. Army Observation's excursion into Texas and ignited the Mexican-American War. He would eventually gain popularity from his victories that would propel his political career to the presidency of the United States of America. The United States won the war and gained control of Texas, rendering Fort Jessup unnecessary. Officially evacuated in 1846, the fort thereafter deteriorated. The federal government privatized it in 1869. By the 1930s, the only remaining building at Fort Jessup was the kitchen of enlisted barracks for residents of the nearby town of Minnie, Louisiana, raised money to restore the building and turn the area into a park. The site was acquired by the Louisiana Office of State Parks in 1956, and in 1961, the fort was designated a National Historic Landmark. Since then, the kitchen has been restored and decorated with historically accurate furniture. An officer's quarters building has been reconstructed and now serves as a museum. The fort site is located on Louisiana Highway 6, 7 miles northeast of Manny. Be sure to check this out as you are in the area. So, do you think that they brought in the water for this window? I don't know. I bet they sat right here and churned the butter, though. At least they was ready to put the fire out. And if it got out of control, they could call for help. Good night. All right, that is this building. So although it's not here now, 
there used to be a soldier's quarters here. So as you walk the trail, you can see they've got this here. There used to be a soldier quarters there. And then here's another one here. It's a parade group. It was a hundred feet by seven hundred feet. So it would have been there, I guess. Any more plaques? Parade ground, hundred by seven hundred feet. So between those two, I guess. So pretty big fort area. So there's a couple of ponds on the property. That one there is pretty dried up. She did say you could come out here and fish. There's another pond on down here. You can see we were behind the main building up there. But here's the other pond. Picnic tables, really pretty place. And you can see the picket fence runs back quite a ways. So the fort was really nice size. But we are fixing to go ahead and head back to North Toledo Bend State Park. So you'll probably see some more up there. <laughs> 